welcome one, welcome all to the National Agricultural Research Organization Upland Rice Field Experiment hosted at Bulindi Zonal Agricultural Research and Development Institute. Bulindi Zonal Agricultural Research and Development Institute is located in the Midwestern Zone in Uganda, East Africa. Permit me to introduce to you one what upland rice production systems are, what we are doing over this small piece of land in terms of research, why this piece of work is very relevant to the farming communities, not only in this zone but sub-Saharan Africa at large. Upland rice production systems refers to the cultivation of rice or Riza sativa L in non paddled unsaturated non flooded well drained aerobic soils when we talk about systems we are referring to components such as genotypes the cultivation techniques soils and not forget tools or equipments which are different in such a production system compared to lowland rice. The majority of farmers in this zone cultivate upland rice. Upland rice is very significant to the food, income and nutrition security of households in this zone. For instance, upland rice fetches more return on investment than most upland crops. The system of cultivating rice in well-drained unsaturated soils is gaining popularity for several merits among others. Upland rice can be rotated with other crops. The nitrogen footprints in upland rice are low in terms of potential and that can be lost to the environment and the emissions from greenhouse gases like in many parts of sub-saharan africa farmers in this zone experience several constraints to upland rice production among others water stress and low soil fertility. In addressing these constraints, we cannot say that fertilizers and irrigation, for instance, are a cutting edge towards the aspiration of boosting the yields of upland rice farmers. So what we are doing over here is we are seeking for missed opportunities to improve traditional and contemporary rice cultivation techniques for the benefits of our local farmers. My technician will take you through what is happening here and what we are observing so far. This rice you see here is now two months from emergence. Our preliminary observation shows that one, with inorganic fertilizer application, planting in deep bowls, or what we call holes, result in a high area vigor compared to broadcasting of the same nitrogen rate. Instruments indicate that soil water in the root zone is depleted with broadcasting than debris faster with the same fertilizer application rate. This PF meter is installed at 45 centimeter depths and the gauge has not moved far away from the zero point compared to the previous plot where we saw a big movement away from the zero for the same end rate. With our crop here, you see, 
it was planted by a broadcasting method and it has no nitrogen. And therefore you are able to see the extent of yellowing which is happening in the leaf plus also the less crop vigor. But in our plot here you see which was planted in lines or what we call furrows with no nitrogen. We are seeing more greening and a higher vigor compared to the broadcast we have seen. Without nitrogen fertilizer application, we can see the rice variety Namche 1 is really performing better than Nerika 4. For Namche 1, we can see there is no big difference in the plant canopy and the height between where nitrogen application is zero and 160 kilogram of nitrogen per hectare. Using data collected at plant and plot level on soils, crop growth, and the weather conditions around this site, we we'll apply it to a crop simulation model to understand what could be happening in the other parts of this zone for the benefit of farmers and other stakeholders. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the support from the Japanese International Cooperation Agency for funding this work. Thank you.